Do you find yourself working with other people in the industry? And uh, let's say you're a wedding videographer, you have a second shooter and you need to communicate with them. How are you going to communicate them if they're on the other side of the aisle? Headsets. We're gonna be talking about the Communicate by Came TV. This is a very interesting device and I've actually reviewed the Hollyland Solidcom C1 device as well. And just a quick disclaimer, they did send me these ones, but they actually want me to compare them to that. And that's how confident they are in this device. And I want to see if this is actually better than that. Which one actually deserves your hard earned cash because uh, this actually looks really good. And right from the get go, Pelican case, come on, that's quality. Let's get into some of the specs that we can talk more about this headset. So to communicate is a headset by Came TV. It has a 1500 feet or 450 meter range. It has a thousand milliamp hour removable battery, which is a Canon MB6L battery. It has 10 hours of runtime. It can come in the single or dual ear cover. It is actually IP63 water resistant, comes in a really nice Pelican hard case. And the set of four actually costs 728 US or the set of two costs 380 US. So right from the start, one of the things that actually sets the difference between the Came TV version versus the Holy Land version is the build quality. They actually look so much better. And it, no, it's not about the look, but this one actually just ha is black. It's, it's better built in terms of just how sturdy it feels. The Holy Land one actually just feels really plastic and it does look like it is a cheaper build but this one is actually slightly cheaper. You're looking at almost $200 cheaper for the four pack. So audio quality isn't something that you're gonna be comparing these two devices, and it's not something that you're actually going to be worrying about, but what do these two sound like side by side anyway? Okay, so I'm currently standing in another room. This is the audio quality of the Came TV Communicate headset. What do you think of the audio? So we'll switch it over to the Hollyland Solicom C1. So this is the Hollyland headset now, and uh, both of the receivers on the Came TV and the Hollyland were at full maximum volume. So uh, obviously, you guys that you're going to be hearing this through is going to be hearing it at the maximum volume. I'm talking in my normal voice right now. So what do you think of the differences between the Came TV and the Hollyland audio? I need to do this test between these two devices. Now you can see I've got the Hollyland one on right now, and I'm going to be recording directly into that audio device. And I'm going to be using my Sony boombox. So Sony got this one for me for Christmas. So thank you, Sony. But uh, we are going to create a little bit of a band situation and see what this is going to sound like. So let's go downstairs. So I've got the RGB light going on just to, you know, get a little bit of mood going on. And uh, we'll throw on a bit of a band from Epidemic Sound. Let's see what this sounds like. So. I don't know. Can you hear me right now? So this is at the start. Just imagine me filming right now, trying to communicate, uh, obviously, with my other team members. You know, I'm getting this shot. Uh, potentially, would you do a, a close-up on uh, the band member? But this is pretty much how it sounds like. I'm going to keep the audio level exactly the same. All right. Let's change audio devices. Okay, so we've got the Came TV Communicate headset on, so let's go into this band situation, see what it sounds like. Yeah. So, you want to be able to hear your team members, so this is the exact same band at the same audio level as well. So, can you actually hear me? Can I talk to my team member and say, I want a close-up of the drummer? You, can you get a close-up of, uh, of the bass player? So what do you think? Does this actually sound uh, pretty decent in these kind of situations? So I'm only, what, maybe six foot away from the speakers? And it's not super loud as well? But what does it sound like? Legit. I am genuinely in awe of this Came TV communicator device. Like, what the? I could not hear anything of the band. Like, what? That is insane. If you are in loud situations, obviously this one is the one to go. V8 supercars, loud bands, uh, crowds. What? I, I'm gonna see how far I can push this thing. You think you're a tough guy, huh? Let's see what you got. Right. Mate, 
Let's get some crowds going on, huh? Let's get some loud crowd noises. What do we got? I'm gonna sit right next to the speaker. Let's see what we got. All right, all right, all right. It's gonna get loud. Wow, there we go, there we go. Can you hear me now? Ooh, arena cheer. Yeah, wow, this is loud. Can you hear me now? Listen to that. That's the one, yeah. Can you actually hear me? This is getting, this is really loud. And I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, imagine this is at, this is at a stadium and we're trying to shoot with a whole bunch of people in the background like this. All right. <laughs> wow, mate, <laughs> what? Uh, sh there is a clear difference here. The Cam TV seems like it has noise cancelling, which is incredible for louder situations, but obviously incredible for normal situations anyway, because you're going to get the exact audio that that person is speaking and not everything else that's in the background. Wow. I honestly, it, this is not scripted at all. None of my videos are scripted, but this is just incredible how good this thing is in comparison to the other ones. I just, I'm still blown away. It's like, whoa. Now the great things about these headsets is that you can wear it say on the left ear and put it down this way, or you could just turn it around and wear it on the right ear whatever is comfortable for you. And the great thing about the design of these ones is that you can get a single over the ear or you can get a dual over the ear. So if you are in louder situations like V8 supercars or uh, anything that requires you to really muffle all the sound around you, that is a really good thing to have. But I do find the single over ear is a lot better for my situations because you do want to just have one ear that you're able to hear everyone else and this ear you can hear everyone that's connected uh, to the other devices. But one of the standout features when it comes to this compared to the other one is that this is IP63 water resistant. That is a really big deal because how many times are you out in the weather and it starts raining? You know, it's you want to have a little bit of insurance that uh, this is going to last a little bit in the rain. At least if it gets splashed on, you're all sweet. But with the other one, it's not water resistant. So that could be a really big deal if you are filming in, you know, some pretty serious weather. So I'm in the car and uh, obviously this is in the garage and can you actually hear me? This is through metal. This is through a couple of uh, walls. I'm going to go for a little bit of a drive and see how far we can get. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be interesting. And uh, we're coming out of the driveway into the street. Now this is up to the corner where there's a gateway sign. I'll turn left and this is going to go through, um, this is going to go through a couple of houses. Now, I suspect and I'm pretty much just driving down one of my main roads and yeah I, I reckon this one's going to be a little bit tough right now I'll do a bit of a turn ah here we go so I guess when it came to the driving situation, you're obviously sitting inside the car and this is going through a whole bunch of buildings. So the transmission isn't going to be as good as obviously when you're standing outside and you know, just getting something from downstairs, getting something from the truck, all those kind of things, it's going to be a little bit better, but the more things you're going to be trying to break that transmission through, the harder it's going to get. But if you are in one car and then you're doing a you know rolling shot with another car, you're not gonna have any issues, providing that you're not like 100 meters away. Sure, the transmission isn't going to be 450 meters if you're going through things, but line of sight, when we went out to the field, it does seem like you can get you know up to 450 meters. I only went to probably maybe 200 meters, almost a couple of lengths 
lengths of a football field and I didn't really want to go any further because we didn't actually have any more space to go further. So one of the easiest ways to get extra range is that you put the master headset in the middle so you can obviously spread 400 meters, 450 meters one way, 450 meters in the other way. So essentially that gives you almost a kilometer, almost a thousand meters uh, distance between you know your devices. So that's how you can optimize it. But we're on the opposite side of the field now, and hopefully you can still hear me. A lot of sight. So it shouldn't be too bad. Overall, I do feel like Kame TV hit a bit of a home run with this one in comparison to the Holy Land version. This one is better quality, has better build quality. The features on it are just absolutely stacked. Comes in a really nice hard Pelican case. That is amazing on its own. I just love how things come in hard cases rather than that hard soft box case thing. You know, it can actually be compressed when you're putting it into the car beds. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you do want to check these ones out. Absolutely do recommend these. These are my favorite ones and obviously they will be used in more of my future projects. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely amazing and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.